So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Never betray her. No matter what might happen. Ronnie. She needs me.
Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of the Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. Unthinkable. How could Blythe... How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Something else for...
If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Praetor Rikard. Hmm. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Praetor Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Praetor Rikard's ambitions though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambition. Ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnished, I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. It is the only thing that can kill that horror. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable monstrosity. Worthy town, it is the run. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. What an easy mark I must have been. Ah, I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours, by right. Let us tread the path of the recusant together, till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. You're still alive, I see. Well... Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing? Or, oh fie, what am I saying? It just isn't possible. I must be tired. Sometimes I hear it's like breathing. Oh. If you follow this heroic path, it cannot... If you follow, it cannot come a...
Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My serpentine were secrets. Now I shall please keep them safe. If you follow this, it cannot. Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Hmm. Well. If she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But, as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please, be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Please. Be kind. Her true visage belies. Please, her true visage. Be um. Oh, it's you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to churn of late. Hmm, well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the Volcano Manor hide some secret? that Lady Tanith has kept from me. I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my, Lady Tanith. My own mother has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Hmm. What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith one day. 
I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. I want to know one day. You're still alive, I see. Well, perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. What an easy mark. If you follow this, it cannot come. If you follow, it cannot... She said that... to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zara that some things are better left un. No. I haven't seen Zarias anywhere. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? May I ask your aid? Not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zarias' mother. If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion. To purge that which would cause her pain. Yes. I know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. My wish is a grave disrespect. But I've no choice. You're still alive. Well...
Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time, and though the soft justice to the oppressor, let the scars I. Put this time, and though the suffering justice to the. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But, I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or, would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold.
Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know, but I... So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I, I no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. No. How could I say that? Father has all... And now...
No. How could I? Father has always given me. And now. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. In this ash, it reminds me of my... In this ash, it reminds me of my... In this ash, it reminds me of... For a lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Pushing me about like that. And after all that grafting, where did that get you? Oh. <laughs> Hello there. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. I tell you though, what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? 